Hey, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and today we're going to show you how to play the Amy Winehouse Mark Ronson version of Valerie. It's originally written by the Zootons, or Zootons, I don't know how to pronounce that name, and it's a really cool tune. A couple weeks ago we showed you how to do this one with a capo, which made it a lot simpler. We didn't have to play any bar chords. Well, this version, no capo, we're gonna be playing bar chords. It's much more like the original recording. We have a different strumming pattern in the chorus, so we can actually play a little bit of that horn line. It's, it's really cool, it's a nice little arrangement. I'm gonna be playing some of this on electric guitar, just because it sounds a little bit better on electric. So get your acoustic or your electric, get ready to do some bar chords. This one's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. We're gonna start out with the chord shapes, and our first chord is E flat major seven. And we play it like this, putting our first finger on the sixth fret of the A string, and that is gonna lightly touch the lowest string to mute it. Then we put our ring finger on the eighth fret of the next string, put our middle finger on the seventh fret of the next string, pinky, or our fourth finger, on the eighth fret of the B string. And you can either press down the top string with the bottom of your finger there, or you can let it lightly touch so that it mutes it. So this is what my chord sounds like. And that's our E flat major seven chord, and it's a movable shape. You know, really nice sounding. And then the other chord that we need for the verse is F minor 7. And for this one, I actually like to start out way down here at my A minor 7 chord using these two fingers. So I have my middle finger on the first fret of the second string, skip a string, second fret of the D string. That's an A minor 7 chord. Now we're going to drag it up, way up till our first finger lines up with the 8th fret. We bar the 8th fret. Make sure that the tip of your finger lightly touches the lowest string. Once again, we want to mute it. And that's our F minor 7 chord. So that's all we need for the verse. And the strumming pattern goes like this. I'm going to do it on an E flat major 7 chord. So that's a bit of a longer one, and we're going to break it down. First I'll show you the whole thing nice and slow. Three and four and... And we're going to break it up into three parts. The first bit goes like this. So that's down, down, up, mute. And if we count it, three and four and one, two and three. To do the mute, make sure that your hand makes contact with the guitar first and then your pick. If your pick contacts the guitar first, you know, you get some weird sounds, but if your hand hits it first, you're kind of just chopping at the guitar. Hand, pick. Gets you a nice muted sound. So take some time with that, count it out once again three and four and one, two and three. One, two and three. The next part is almost the same, except that second downstroke is now a miss. We're just gonna miss that downstroke. So instead of down, down, up, mute, we have down, miss, up, mute. So adding that to what we have already, Three and four and one, two and three, four, miss up two. One, two and three, four, miss up two. And finally, we just add down, down, up to the end of that one, which is pretty straightforward, just down, down, up. And when you do the whole thing super slowly, Counting it out, this is what you get. Three and four and one, two and three, four, one and two, three, four and. So take
take some time with that go through the motions super duper slowly make sure that you count it out loud you don't even have to really do it in time you just have to count it super slow at your own pace as slow as you need to go to get it correctly and once you can get it a couple times then you can start to speed it up get the groove going and you know then you'll actually be playing it at a tempo where it sounds like a strumming pattern anyways now that we have the chords and the strumming pattern going let's put them all together try this together a bit slower than the original recording here we go one two three four <coughs> Then we're gonna learn the chords for the pre-chorus. And our first chord for that one is A flat. It's just an A flat bar chord. An easy way to think about it is by making an E shape with these three fingers right here. And then just dragging it up till your first finger's on the fourth fret. And same strumming pattern. And then we just go down one fret, take off our middle finger, we get a G minor chord. We go back and forth between those two chords a couple times, and then we play a B flat chord, which is the same shape as A flat, but our first finger is on the sixth fret. So let's practice the pre chorus all together, nice and slow, with the strumming pattern. One, two, three, four. So when we were playing this song with the capo, we just did the exact same thing for the chorus that we did for the verse. But since we don't have a capo on, we can actually do some cooler stuff. You know, we can add a little bit of a melodic line that you'll hear in the recording. We can add that to our pattern. It goes like this. So to play that, we're gonna need a new strumming pattern. The strumming pattern goes like this, nice and slow. So we're making constant contact with the strings and we're basically just pressing down our chord shape sometimes and releasing it sometimes. We'll break it down into two parts. First, we have... So that's just down, down, mute, up, mute, mute. And then the second half, down, up, mute, up, mute, mute, down, up. So I'll do it super slowly with counting. Three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So our hand is just making continuous contact and we just press down our chord sometimes. So practice that a whole bunch of times on E flat major seven and F minor seven and then we can add that little embellishment, which happens in the second half of the pattern. So we play the first half normally. And then here, for these next four strokes, first we go like this. So this note is the highest note. We really gotta focus on it, put some extra pressure into it. 
so that it stands out. And then on the upstroke, we move our finger one fret higher. So see, I just slid my finger one fret higher. Just try that a few times. Really want that, that melody to be really clear. And then we do a muted down stroke and an up stroke where we focus on that note. So our melody in the top. Just hold the chord shape and practice playing just that melody. And then when we add the strumming and the full strumming pattern, and then we move on to the F minor chord. And for this one, our melody notes are, so that's the note that our middle finger is playing. So that has to be the highest note of the chord. So I kind of just lean my wrist forward so that I can mute that high string. And then we add our fourth finger just two frets higher than our middle finger. So it's on the 11th fret. Just practice that a few times. And then finally, upstroke on the whole chord shape, including that note right there. You can just play a few times, make sure you got it, and then try it with the whole pattern. So that gives you a way to make the chorus a little bit different from the verse since they use the exact same chord progression. One, two, three, four. So that's how you play Valerie without a capo. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I know it was a bit more difficult, but between the no capo version and this version, we've kind of covered a huge range of ability levels. So take from it what you can. If it was a bit difficult to play through that thing on the chorus where we're going like, you know, you could always just do those chords with the strumming pattern exactly the same way you play the verse and it'll sound fine. I just thought it would be cool to add a bit more of a challenge level to this one and you know incorporate that horn line into the guitar playing. Anyways, take some time with this one. I hope you have a fun time practicing it and I'll see you next week.